The revolution of 1848 caused much uproar from the people of France and later the rest of Europe due to the unfair working conditions of the middle class. Jean-Pierre Alexandre Antigonus started living in the poor quarters of France in 1845, causing him to change from non-controversial art to realist style art in order to show the realistic unpleasant conditions at the time, such as in washing, to portray the problem of the middle class women in the painting being forced into poverty and burdening manual labor situations. For many years, people of France struggled with their increasingly discontent with the government and their power over the lower class. When widespread poverty hit France and spread to the rest of Europe, many demands were put on the people of the working class. The lower and middle working class started developing animosity towards the upper ruling government class. Economic depression and the workers' class discontentment with the government started the Revolution of 1848, also known as the Spring of Nations. For example, in the painting Washing by Jean-Pierre Alexandre Antigna, three women are portrayed performing manual labor of cleaning clothing by a stream. This painting depicts the oppressive manual labor conditions faced by the lower and middle class women during the time of the revolution as a result of poverty. The declining economic situations of the middle and lower class forced women to perform manual labor. While living in Paris, he witnessed the harsh conditions the poor were experiencing after poverty hit France and the increasingly discontentment with the government. Antigna wanted his work to reflect the sufferings the poor were actually experiencing, therefore he changed his style of art to realism, painting poverty, hard work, struggles, and uproars towards the government. Some of his paintings include the poor woman with a woman laying down by a cross, either dead or praying, and the poacher showing a young boy stealing an apple. In his painting Washing, he also depicts the poverty of the people and the struggles of hard working individuals who are just trying to stay alive. The painting Washing portrays three women in torn, ragged clothing depicting the unpleasant, realistic life of lower and middle class working people. Instead of paying the subject matter in beautiful, lavish clothing, Antigna did not want his painting to inaccurately depict life better than reality for these ordinary people living in this poverty. Therefore, during the realism art movement, he painted these women with their hair messy, wearing old, worn clothes to fully demonstrate the content struggle that Antigna and many others encountered with poverty during this period of time. In the 1800s, women did not have as many rights as men. They stayed at home to take care of the children and performed a majority of the household chores. However, during the revolution of 1848, the men were not able to make enough money to support their entire family. Therefore, everyone had to contribute to the family. For example, in the washing painting, three women are out in the stream washing clothes, which may have not been a typical daily activity prior to this period. The women are working together to get as much done as possible. Many people in Europe, especially France, struggled with the government providing unfair working conditions toward the lower classes. There were a series of revolts that caused a lot of uproar as well as poverty. Jean-Pierre Alexandre Antigna experienced firsthand this poverty while living in the urban poor of Paris. After witnessing this level of poverty, Antigna changed his style of art to realist style to convey his dissatisfaction with the government and working conditions forced upon many people that were working. In his painting Washing, he depicts an image of three women faced with the struggle of poverty. These women are in ragged clothing and are in the woods washing clothes, giving the viewer an idea they were hit by the effect of poverty from the revolution and forced into oppressive manual labor to survive. Antigna wanted his work to bring awareness to the suffering the lower classes were actually experiencing, in reality to hopefully improve the working conditions and provide support for the poor.